Hey everybody, it is Crafty Glamper 77. I'm here with another Timu haul. This um, makes my, it should be 12, 13, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together so I get it done and out of the way. Um, there's still some items of these orders that haven't come in <clears throat> and they're going to be like three and four items. So it's not even really enough to make a haul, but I'm kind of getting a bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. Um, I may show those ones, I don't know. I may wait until I make another order, which will be soon. Um, yes, it will be soon, sooner rather than later. <clears throat> but I did get a variety of things. We got some clothes. We just have miscellaneous items today. So we'll go ahead and get started. And um, for the ones that asked about the makeup in my last haul, <clears throat> I apologize, I, ha I didn't have the links on there. So I put the links to all the items that I had in that haul. So you can just go on there, um, number 10, and you can find it now. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, okay, so let's jump on there and get started. I haven't read all my comments yet this evening, but I'm going to once I chill and relax. So, okay, here we go. All right. Um... Okay, the last Carhartt hat that I got for my husband was in the coffee color, and I got another one. It was $6.99 for that. Really nice hat. The stitching is really good. Even lines. It's got the little leather badge. It's got that on the back. It is stitched in which is nice. It has the little official tags. And yeah, it's got this little thing right there. So it's very good quality, nicely made. It's exactly what you would buy in Dunham's or TSC, one of those kind of stores offline, um, Amazon or something. So yeah, he really liked his other hat. Um, but I ordered another one because I had a feeling it was going to be good. It looked nice in the picture, so I just got two. This is another hat for $3.38. Looks like I grabbed the clothing bag, so there's just a few items in there. I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the way. And then the other bag back there is just a little bit of everything. Kitchen stuff to, I don't know, just a little bit of everything. Tin signs, stuff like that. All right, same nice quality. I love the material. The stitching and quality is really good. You know, if you find a seller that you like and that you purchase from, and you know it's good quality, it's got an adjustment back there. Um, if I didn't show this, I apologize real quick. It is a Velcro, and it's a nice Velcro. It stays together good. Yeah, but if you find a person that you like and you bought stuff, you already know the quality is good because you've received it. You can go back to your previous orders and click on the item that you got and you can purchase that item again if you're wanting multiple items of something. I have done that with some things, um, but that's kind of nice to know. That way you'll know what you're getting. Okay, this one's for my husband. It was $3.59. So, he works outside. And it's always good. I have a hat to protect your head, your ears, your nose. I should take that advice for myself a little more often. I love hats, but I don't always wear them outside, probably when I need to the most. This is a real pretty khaki color. It says Root 66. Really soft, nice, good quality hats. They all come with that plastic in there to keep them shaped. It's got the adjustment in the back. But yes, I love their hats. You cannot beat the, the prices on their hats. This is a hat that I purchased. I think I said it was for my husband, but it was actually for me and I kind of didn't think about it until later. So this was one of my hats along with that um, other Carhartt hat that I got for me. Okay, last hat. And I paid $3.37. This is also for my husband. I told him it's time to weave through his hats. He, he holds on to hats like, I don't know what, but you know, it, 
It's almost like when you get a worn in pair of shoes that you just have forever. Everybody's like, oh, you just gonna throw them away and get you another pair. Well, that's how he is with his hats. I said, babe, I got you some new hats. So now you can go through those and get rid of some. And he looked at me like, what? No, we'll just add to the collection. Figure I'll probably lose that battle, but it was worth a shot. And he did need some new hats. So 337. This is really cool. I love this. It's not really mustardy, but it's like that Carhartt material um, color too. I don't know how you want to describe this color. But it's very pretty. I like it. Stitching once again is dead on. The flag and border little flag patch on there. Like it. And then it's got that on there. Can't read that backwards. And it says America. You know what? That's cool. I didn't even notice in the picture when I bought this that it said that on the back. Awesome. But these, once again, these are good, nice hats. They might got, come in kind of crumpled, but once you start wearing them and you squeeze them or pull them, however you want to fix them on your head, however you like to wear them, they're fine. They're fine. Okay. Right, 709 is what I paid for this one. This was for my husband. Most of their shirts don't have like your normal tag, but they might tell you, some might. The ones I've purchased so far have not, but it'll let you know what size. The stitching is good. This is almost like a dry fit cotton material, but it's really, really soft. It says, it doesn't need to be rewritten it needs to be reread. So, this is the shirt. But I really like that. It says We the People on there. But yeah, he was, he really liked that shirt too. So, that's one for him. I really like the shirt I got for me. I cannot wait to show you guys. Whenever I, I hear him sing, it's an old country, he's like a legend. Um, he's getting up there in age. All the good ones are getting up there in age, which is sad. But, um, yeah, I think of my mom when I hear his music. She let me have her records and stuff of him, and she lives in South Carolina. I'm in Indiana. We're far apart, and sometimes I just listen to those records. Um, makes me feel a little closer to her. This is another one I got. Well, I always say this, just, and thank you for the ones, you know, that tell me I don't have to worry about it or anything like that you know we all it's each to their own opinion um I just always feel like I need to throw it out there because I never want to offend anybody that's the last thing on my mind I'm doing this for fun I love opening and showing everything to you guys that I get it's just it's just a lot of fun I enjoy the comments you know and talking back with people it's it's not to have any negativity with it, which someone told me today they lost, I lost their subscribe because I was a Trumper, but I don't bring that on here to throw on people's faces. It's, we like what we like and we purchase that things from, you know, stuff that we like, that we're gonna wear, that we're gonna use. And if I buy it, I'm gonna show it. So once again, it is no offense, not pushing anything down anybody's throat, okay? this is. Just stuff that we like. I know I'm being repetitive, and I apologize for the ones that are like, girl, you don't need to say that no more. Well, I feel like I do. It's just like someone commenting what they did, you know, so they unsubscribe me, which that's fine. That's their opinion and the way they feel. Cool. No biggie, okay? Um, but this right here says, since we are redefining everything now, this is a cordless hole puncher, okay? And I just, I love the flag. I just, I think that's so cool. Um, something I've noticed with sizes, they might run a tad smaller than what they should, but they seem pretty precise. Um, I'm a little chesty, so I do like baggy clothes and stuff to not be tight on the top. So I usually tend to buy oversized anyway. But so far, I like everything. There's just one shirt that I thought was kind of short um, that I will not be wearing with my leggings, but you know, 
but other than that, it's been pretty, pretty accurate. Okay, this is going to be a long haul, so maybe I need to close my trap a little bit and just get it going. Well, this is about the most close to a tag I've had. And it says extra large, but yeah, it's actually a tag. So, oh, and this is, ugh. And I love the material. It's not a thick cotton. It's going to be so nice for the summer. If he's working outside and doing stuff, it's going to dry really quick. It's airy. Um, I know it doesn't look like that on the camera, but holding it like this, I can actually see through it. But that'll be a good thing for when it's 90 degrees and hot and humid outside. Okay, this one says, if the government says you don't need a gun, then you need a gun. Once again, I'm not repeating what I've said, but what I said earlier is how I feel about all my, all my shirts and stuff that we've purchased. I know some of you won't like them, and I mean, and that's okay. We all like different things, you know? It's what makes us individuals and unique as a person, so, okay. Enough of that. How was everybody's day? I hope it was a good one. Um, I work at the middle school here in our town, and we had today was our reveal day on our secret pals. So I got some nice little gifts from my secret pal today. I got to find out who it was. It was actually like um, our boss for our department. So that was kind of cool. She hit it quite well. Um, okay, this is another one. Once again, there's no tag, but that's okay. And I do love. The stitching with everything is really good. I've not had any loose threads. When you say everything, everything meets really good and tight. It's nice. And this is another one. I just love this material. It's so soft and smooth. I guess it's, let me make sure there's no tags like on our side seams. Oh, well, I'm always, I don't know what material is. It is 35% cotton and 65% polyester. That's why it's so nice and smooth. It does have the cotton in it, but then that smoothness comes from that polyester. But isn't this the cutest darn thing? Look at that. I just think that's so cool. I, I just love, like, old, I collect Coca-Cola. I've done that since I've been in middle school. And those old women back then, the way they des um, dressed, the vintage look, I love that look. They were so beautiful, like naturally beautiful back then. But I don't know. It just says dependable service, spark plugs, mechanic on duty, 32 cents, all brands. And she's just sitting on a spark plug. So it's like that on the front and back. Just cute. $6.08. And that one where I said it needs rewritten, um, it was six nineteen. Sorry, I think I got on a little nice rant. I wasn't trying to be mean or anything like that, and I kind of forgot to tell you guys the price. This was seven sixty nine. This might have been one of the more expensive shirts, but this is cool too, and it's it's really soft. It's got that on there, and it says honor, respect, courage. But there's that. And the back is the same thing, only bigger. And it looks gray from there. But actually, you guys, it's a really pretty green, light green. It's, it's a very pretty color. Um, here's white. So you know it's not white. Maybe that'll make the green stand out a little bit more. I don't know. Yeah, it's a really pretty shirt. And once again, I'm not sure this is 3565 because it feels a little different, but still nice and soft. Oh, and it's got a big tag. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's 100% polyester. Oh, you think I would know that? But yeah. Another nice shirt. Very happy with the clothing. Um,. Only two more for the shirts, okay? And then I get on the, all the other goodies that I bought. It's just a little bit of, that bag is a little bit of everywhere, okay? So, this one right here was $7.69. Stomp my flag, I'll stomp your booty. I had one of these the other day for my husband. Well, I bought this one for somebody else. 
It's a real pretty blue. Doesn't have anything on the back. It's just plain, real nice and soft. And this one I would want to say is 100% polyester because it feels the same as the other one. Yeah. But these shirts, I would just probably turn them inside out, maybe hang them to dry. I don't really know about polyester, at least maybe the ones with cotton in them to hang them up to dry. The polyester can probably be dried, but here's mine. This is the one where I say when I hear his music or anything, it makes me think of my mom. I remember we lived in this house in the country. It was way down this long lane. I was in elementary. She used to play the records all the time with Willie. Nelson is who it is, okay? Um, when she would start cleaning, she put her records on. She'd start cleaning the house, and Mom would kind of get that little bebop in a little bit. Just sometimes maybe doing to be cute, but honestly, just getting in the mood, the moment, you know, she wasn't even paying attention or didn't even notice that I was watching her. I probably thought it was a little kooky when I was little, but um, I love that memory now. I love having that memory of my mom. She was just in her own head space, you know, and I don't know. I don't know. Sure miss my mama living closer. You've probably seen this one hauls, and this is where I've seen it was on a haul, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that shirt. So I went and found it myself. Have a really nice day. And I believe, I didn't notice. My husband had said that on the end of his ponytail, it looked like the state of Texas. But yeah, look at that. This is definitely 100% um, polyester. There is nothing on the back, that is the front. Okay, and I got mine in an extra large. As I've said before, I am 4'11". Uh, it's probably still about 10 inches above my knee. So I don't know if it's long enough for my leggings when I go out in public, but good enough for home. So, love it. Okay, all right, now to this bag. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's do this. Okay, this was one of another haul that I did the other day and three items were missing. Well, they came in today. This is um, Tattoo Balm. I paid $3.48 for it. Um, if you've seen my other hauls, I smell everything. The makeup, sometimes the clothes, which bring them out of the bags, they didn't have any strong smells to them. But yeah, I'm, I smell everything. Okay, so it's gonna come in this little box. And, okay, just a little, kind of like a little cheapy looking bottle. I mean, even the label's kinda not on straight, kinda wonky. Got a little plastic doohickey on it. You know, sometimes things will work for me, but it seems like if I'm trying to do a haul or something like that on here, everything fights me opening stuff. I don't know why. It's a really soft smell, but I'm not really... Okay, I've got tattoo there. Oh, it smells minty. It almost smells like um, spearmint chewing gum. It's so funny. It's strong on your skin, but I couldn't hardly smell it on here. But yeah, you get 1.41 ounce. I paid um, three something for it. I know I said it, but now I don't have it in front of me. It contains shea butter, jojoba oil, seed oil, sunflower seed oil, macadamia nut seed oil, jasmine flower ex extract it softens and moisturizes the skin it can high s help speed up the recovery process of the skin after tap um, tattooing and it helps alleviate inflammation so this is good after you get tattoos but just wipe the tattoo lightly to make the tattoo look new smear more even and save time smear more even and save time okay well, anyway, after you have them for a while, you know, they can start to fade a little bit. So that's to kind of help maybe keep the color, the life in a little bit longer. 
I've not had mine but a few years. I never thought I'd get a tattoo, but once I got one, they're addicting. And I'm weird. I have to have even numbers on everything. So I'm, I have four and my daughter is like, mom, we need to get mother daughter tattoos. I'm like, nope, nope, because that's five. If I do that, I have to get one more in six. No, I'm not doing that. I hope I stick to my word. Um, so there's one of the little bag. My husband loves these little coins. They're $1.98, they're heavy. They're good for anybody that knows someone that collects coins. If you collect coins, I'm telling you, these are so nice. Um, this was $1.98 and it's the second amendment. The right to keep and bear arms. It's got the flag on it. And the constitution shall never be, ooh, I should probably know what it's supposed to say, but I don't know what it says. I just can't read it because my light is really reflecting in it. To be construed to prevent the people of the United States who are, okay, it says all that. It's hurting my eyes to try to read it, but it's really pretty. Comes in a little plastic case. These are nice, thick coins. They have weight to them. I mean, it's it's no joke. It is a very good dupe of a real, real coin. I'm telling you, it's good for collectors. And it comes in like your little sealable bag. Okay. This one was $1.58. This is a cool one. I like the ones that look old. United States of America, Memorial to the Valor, Valor of the Soldier of the South, Liberty. It's a half dollar. And it's got two men on their horses. Stone Mountain, 1925. I think you can see that pretty good. And then it's just got, oop, I gotta flip it around. The eagle on the back. But yeah, and it's got the rivets, edges just like, um. I can't see it on there at all, sorry. It's got the, like a quarter does. And it sounds like a coin. Nice. Yeah, he's loved all the coins I've got him so far. And they're such good prices. And when you compare them to Amazon, they beat them. Okay. 288. Anybody that's watched my hauls knows that I like gnomes. I could probably have a gnome haul on its own. They have so many cute ones in there. They really do. Um, again, 288. Let's foo foo his little beard out here. He's got a little smashed. It does have wire in there, so you can have his hat straight. Look, you can kind of sit him down however you want him on your window edge, on your shelf, on a table, and then. That wasn't cool, his little, his wire come out. <gasps> Don't rip it, please. Oh my gosh. Okay, do I got it? Okay, I'll work on that later. If I can get it to go right, if I get it to go in the same way it come out and not hook on the material as it goes back in, I'll be able to shove it all back in there. Oh, hold up, everybody. Wow, I amaze myself sometimes. Not very often, but sometimes. Okay, look at his little face. Aren't they just the cutest darn little things? But yeah, so there's him. Oh, he's too slick. My machine's too slick. We'll just sit him there. He's all right. Okay. $1.68. Yeah. I bought us one and our daughter one. We've got three daughters and a son between the two of us. And our middle one will like this right here. Okay. It's just gizmo with his little Christmas tree lights and his little face. Thought he was cute. Um, it's like a real thick, hard plastic. You can see on both sides. You can definitely tell which side's the front. It's the more prominent of the colors, as this side will be a little lighter. And then you come with this little thing, so you do have to twine it in 
a little hole yourself. But I've got two of those, so I'll just bring out the one. So one for us and one for her. Don't want to lose my ribbon there. This is for our youngest daughter, the 16-year-old. She picked these. These were $1.07. Oh, I'm thinking, of, speaking of my earrings, I was so excited on my last haul because I found some backs that are actually letting me wear earrings again for this ear where I've got a tear. Um, so my earrings kind of slide down. And I got these rounder backs and it it makes it work now. Well, I was so excited and bought some danglies and I tried them on. I was gonna wear them for my haul and say, look everybody. I didn't get to do that because they don't work. When I was shoving it back there, you could see the plastic thing hang down. It's because the hook was like this, but bigger. So my little cow one that I was just so in love with, I can't wear them. So I'm just gonna see if she'll wear those or I'll find somebody that will. Disappointed? Yeah, to say the least. But anyway, these got a little steer in them and they're really pretty, this real pretty blue, um, blue in there. Uh, let me find, I think you can see them there a little bit. And it's got this, they're light. It's just a solid back. But yeah, it's really, really cute. She picked those out and they were a dollar seven. I'm gonna put these back in here so I don't lose them. Those are hers. Got this for my husband. I'm not gonna go through the spill again. But, um, yeah, it's just something for my husband's truck. $248, and it does come with the little sticker. So you just peel it off and put it to the shape of this. It's cut out to the design of this. And this is like a metal plate. And it just um, has Trump Edition on there. And it's metal like this on the back. And then you just peel this off and stick it in there and it's sticky and you just put it onto your car, truck, whatever you drive. But this is for him. So there's that, it was 248. And got these for her, they were 98 cents. It's another pair that she picked out, cute. These are a wood, okay just so you can see the wood. Ooh. Well, I don't know if that'll blind it. Let's find out or help you see things better. Got these little cowboy boots with the sunflowers in them. Aren't those just the cutest little things? It's a nice thin wood, very lightweight. They are very lightweight. It's not two-sided, it's wood on one side and it has that hook, 98 cents for those them the cutest little things. Oh, she'll love them. She will love those. I mean, she's already seen them, but she's going to love them even more when she sees them. So, wow, I feel like I'm really sh but I want you to see the stuff. A dollar seven. She picked these out also. These are all very lightweight. This is more of like a a plasticky, but it's still nice and thick. And it's got that. And it is two sided. So it's that on that side. And you turn it around and it's that on that side. And it's the little hook. Whoops, flipped around with me. So that's how it goes in your ear. So those are really cute for a dollar seven. So. She'll make that cute with some outfits. Okay. And I got another one of these because one was for a granddaughter and then I wanted one for my purse, 71 cents. I said on a few hauls ago that I don't know what my issue is, but I'm just into keychains right now and putting them on my purse. But I got another cute little teddy bear. He is black. And he's got a little brown nose, a little brown bow tie. He kind of moves a little bit. He's like a hard rubber, hard, soft rubber, because he does move and it's just got your little keychain. And he was 71 cents. Okay. This was 18 cents. It is not going to fit my sink in my kitchen, but it will be fine and perfect for our camper. So 18 cents. And I've seen these in a lot of hauls where you literally just 
hook this back. This is like a silicone rubbery feel. But you'll hook it to it and whatever size you need it, you have all your holes where you can adjust for size. But you put that around the faucet part and then it just hangs over your sink. And this is an outside plastic. It looks like, yeah, this comes out for easy clean. So it goes in just like that. It's got these little things where they hook right in there. Cool beans, I like that. But yeah, you can just put your little sponges, your little scrapers for your pans and stuff in there. Just got the holes for easy wash. Just take it apart and easy peasy, 18 cents. Okay, this is for, um, like if you're working on your, if your husband's working in your in the hood of your car looking at something through your motor putting something together taking something apart and he drops that bolt or whatever this is i paid a dollar 38 it's got a nice grip i think they have these in different colors but it's got a nice grip this is a magnet and it little li little it literally extends really really big yeah I don't remember how big let's say maybe two and a half feet but yeah if they drop something that it can just and it's down on the ground through there and they can't reach their arm or can't climb underneath the car they just stick that right down to it and um can't get it well I just picked up a cricket tool yeah look at that literally it's got good so that's kind of like, that's a perfect, look at this, ladies, compact stocking stuffer. That's what I'm thinking. These that make good stocking, stocking stuffers for those mechanic men or working around the house. Say they're up on the ladder and they drop that nail. If they go down a couple of steps or maybe they're right where they need to be and they can go right down there and pick it up with this handy dandy how cool is that and that magnet was really look at that oh my gosh it's like an i could probably play with this and entertain myself but yeah it's got a good magnet okay moving on that's a, that's a cool guy guy gift right there i love this so much i had to get one for my camper i use this dutifully every time I have a hamburger now. Anytime I'm chopping up my hamburger, I pay $2.97. This is meat choppers. My son's girlfriend had one and I've seen her use it more than once and these get expensive. I've seen them go up to almost $20 on Wayfair and different sites. Um, the one I got, I loved it. I went through this uh, one of my previous orders and since I already got it and knew it was good, um, I ordered another one through that person so I know I got the same exact thing. But yes, it's nice, nice thick. You can, I guess if you want to use your muscles and break it, you could, but it's very durable. But yeah, right like that. And you just chop away on that burger. And it, rather than having big chunks, it chops it up so much finer than what having a spatula. And I've used a spatula my whole life. I'm 45 and I've used a spatula my whole life. And I'm sitting there cutting those certain pieces because I, I like them smaller, like for taco meat and stuff. Perfect. I love things that simplify my life. And that's such a simple little thing, but it does just that. But yeah, see, it's kind of got, I'm sure everybody's seen these before, but if you haven't, that's what it is. Everything's done that I've gotten out. I got more of these sponges and I like them so much. They were 18 cents for five. Um, I'm gonna, I'm making up a little gift box for my mom for when I go down there, plus presents for other things that we're missing while we're not together birthdays and stuff but this is just going to be a little package her box with all the other stuff i got her because i like them i mean they're really good they're scrubby on this side and they're nice and spongy on that side but yeah 18 cents five sponges heck yeah heck yeah this is another dress that my grand our granddaughter picked out i said she had a couple picked out but i only bought one because i wanted to see the quality of it, $2.48, $2.48 for this, it's so pretty, 
from the little princess dress. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. And look at the lace detail. Look how pretty that is. And it's layered lace to make it more fuller, poofy dress. And there's, there's the front. And it's shoulderless. Oh, not shoulders, but kind of sleeveless. It just goes over their shoulders. And it's lace. Yeah, look at that. I love the quality of that lace. It's so, you know, it reminds me of back in the day too, my grandma always blew her nose in a hanky. And they would have little flowers embroidered in them or lacy things around the edges. And I always thought they were so pretty and colorful. It's kind of what it reminds me of. And then it does have this. And like I said, it is a good Velcro. She's seven. But even little girls could play with it to play with dolls. It's not too hard to get apart to where they can't. There's some Velcros that you just got to pull on. That's perfect for a little. Look at that little dress. Oh, my gosh. Ava picked out the cutest little thing. Uh, you know, I'm going to have to let her pick out more. So, yeah. Adorable. I love it. Okay. We're getting down there, guys everybody we're getting down there okay this was for my husband it was $2.98 they put it on their wrist okay this little thing here it's just made of like your nylon it has velcro it goes like that these strips right here one two three four and you can feel them they're all magnet so you would put it around your wrist like so. Oh, I tried to get it tight, but it's going around and around. Boom. <laughs> that little tool that I like. Oh, it won't come off. It's such a good magnet. It's just pulling it up and down. But yeah, there you go. You can hear it. And it's got six of them on there. And they're all good. So yeah, that's cool. I thought... When guys take things apart, sometimes they put them in lids, put them in bowls. Those can get bumps spilled out everywhere, and you got to make sure you find your little washers, everything that goes with it. Well, they can put some of that stuff on here, and they'll have everything. Um, if they don't want to hold it on themselves, they can latch it to something, and it can be sitting on there. I know they have magnetic bowls, too. Um, I didn't think about that until after the fact that I found this. Might even be getting one of those too sometime. But I don't know. I thought it was kind of cool for the price. Um I got another gnome. A dollar forty-nine, so I couldn't pass that price up. No. Not a dollar forty-nine. And he's so cute. He's got that black buffalo plaid. He doesn't have the little wire in there. But look at him. Here, let's get his hair off his nose. It's got a real pretty material. It's sewn good together. Yeah, it's it's nice and sewn evenly. There's him and his little nose and his hat. But yeah, he's so cute. Cute. Okay. Okay, so he does, he does sit. He did not fall over. All right, <clears throat> got one of these for my mom, or may give it to the kids. I honestly don't even know if my mom likes avocados, but this was six cents. So I had to get it for somebody, but you literally, excuse me, cut your avocado. <clears throat> Once you got it cut and get, you know, that big old seat out, you just scoop it in there like this. And get all your goods but yeah and it comes with the little sleeve there to protect and it's got these little ridges for the teeth it's really nice to hold on to i like this and i love that green i think it's a pretty green i don't know is that supposed to be avocados it was like a pineapple but cute six cents Sometimes when I see things that cheap, I always say I buy everything I'm going to use because I do, or it's going to be a gift. It's not going to go to waste, but sometimes when I see things for six cents, I'm like, okay, so I might not use it now, but for that price, I can put it away in my drawer or something and use it for later. 
if my mom doesn't like them and the kids don't like them, I've got a backup if our one breaks. You know, it's not gonna take up much space and it costs a little bit of nothing, a little change. This was from my husband, $4.98. It's the Pledge of Allegiance and it's to go on the front of his truck. It's really nice. But you can read it. I pledge allegiance. I mean, you can read it word from word. Word on there is metal. But yeah, this is going to go for his truck. He picked that out. And it does have one, two, three, four. You have all your holes for your bolts. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I've had it in my cart multiple times, but I add things, take out, add things, take out till I get it to a certain dollar amount. I probably, there's, sometimes I'll do that for two or three days till I get my order just right, okay, to what I want. But I've had this in there so many times. I finally got one. Good reviews. I read the reviews almost everything I buy, but it's one of these oil sprayers and I paid 98 cents. I've seen them for three something all the way up to like eight dollars maybe um you add the oil in the bottle pump the cover spray oil mist i haven't done this one but every haul that i've watched that has done um examples like they show how their gadgets work the stuff that they buy nobody's had any complaints and i've seen a lot of the reviews on it saying they were going to buy more so if I personally end up liking this a lot, I'm probably gonna buy one for my camper too. There's just some things it's good to have two of. But it's got your little thing in there. It just, you unsqueeze. I did buy some of those um, silicone little funnels that pop down to nothing where they take no space at all. And it was like three different colors. I put one of those on there, pour my oil. Oh, I didn't realize that, but now I remember theirs did come with one even comes with one. So you got a little plastic one that can fit right on top there and you pour your oil and then put your little spritzer back on here. And some of them are like black and maybe white and it's got a nice thing. Sprays really good. Doesn't stick. It's a smooth push. So I'm actually very excited to put my olive oil in there and see how that does. Yeah, comes with a little doohickey, a little funnel for it. It's like a cute little baby funnel. Okay, um, anybody that crickets out there? Well, my husband surprised me and got me a back book. I do have that tutorial to, or that haul. It was like kind of like a box reveal. Um, well, it needed a little tool and a little cord. It's like, I don't know my cords. I don't know. It's not. It kind of looks like a USB at the end, but it's not. And then the other end looks like the Android ends on their chargers, but it literally has to go from my MacBook to my Cricut machine in order for it to work and me to make anything. So I've been using my iPad still because I just had to set it up on my iPad. It did not need a physical connection with my Cricut machine, but this does. So there's that. And then here was that end, right here. There you go. So I'm so excited to do that. I'm gonna have my son's girlfriend sometime. Well, I'm not going to have her. She said she would help me. So I'm gonna have her come. She said she would come over and help me. So I'm gonna ask her sometime to come over and help me set this up. So, oh, let's put that right there. Just a couple more things. Maybe five. I've seen these two, so I was really excited. It's one of those batter dispensers. Um, you can do it for cupcakes, pancakes, making donuts, funnel um, things, uh, elephant ears, you know, and your hot grease or whatever. But I've seen these on some hauls and even with people demoing them, and they gave it like a five out of five star. And I can't remember if it comes in different colors. I want to say it might come in like this green, but I'm not sure because when I saw this color, I really didn't pay too much attention to any other colors. But yeah, it's, 
It says you fill the wide opening dispenser with batter, pull the quick release to release the batter from the opening. So, I mean, it looks pretty darn simple. So let's get her out of here. It's just a plastic and it's got <clears throat> your milliliters, your 100, 300, 5, 7 to 9. And then over here, it's got your one cup, two cup, three cup, four cup. So what you will do, I guess, is just pour all your batter in there. Nice little hard plastic lid. Love this color. And then once it's in there, oh, and plus I guess you'll want to make sure, well, I guess it's going to, it's not going to open up till you push it. And this right here is your handle. It's got this bottom. So what you'll do is push that handle and it releases your batter. I thought it would be, oh, it does. You just, I was thinking I was breaking it, but you're not. Do that, let go, and it covers the hole completely. I hope it's not gonna be one of those pain in the booty things to clean. Um, time will tell. I guess once I use it, I'll find out. We don't really do big breakfast or anything until the weekends, and then we make a, a nice big breakfast. So I probably won't need it until this weekend. I still have not forgot you out there that asked how those two um, water bottle pieces. Oh my gosh. I remember when I get on here or I start talking about certain things that triggers that. I will ask her. I haven't. I'm going to place another order too. Um, I'm sorry. I, I got to do that because I don't even know how it works myself. I haven't even used those cups yet. Those water bottles. I have not. But anyway, this is really cute. And it was $6.59. I don't know. I like it. Pretty nifty. Okay, so there is that. That'll even be nice for camping, too. I always go back to camping on everything. This right here I paid $5.99 for. I bought a few metal signs. I love vintage, especially when it comes to Christmas, the holiday stuff like Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving. I They say vintage is anything 25 years or older. So, okay, I'm just going to have to roll with it. There's stuff that my mom had that is now vintage from when I was little. But um, I love that Santa Claus. I just love that picture and the way he looks. And it says Santa's Workshop, the North Pole since 1802. It's got your four holes where you can put your, it is a, and it came not bent. I, I did not have to bend anything back. It was all nice and flat. It's plain on this side, but yes, isn't that adorable? I just love old stuff like that. I do, I do. $4.98 for this one. This is for my mom. She's got a mini Dotson. His name is Moose. No job is finished until the paperwork is done. And this one dog is holding it to replace that. Isn't that drive you crazy when you come in the bathroom? There's like the only roll of tissue is exactly what is stuck to that tube right there. And they don't change it. Or it's left like that. And it takes like five seconds. I have a pet peeve about that. It drives me insane. But yeah. Anyway. It's just another nice metal sign. I got that for my mom. I think she'll love that and actually it looks like Moosey. He's that color. Um, okay, another metal sign. It says, before you break into my house, stand outside and get right with Jesus. Tell him you're on your way. So before you break into my house, stand outside and get right with Jesus. Tell him you're on your way. So that is what this metal sign says. It was $4.98. So, yeah, me and my husband like that. And it's just another metal sign. They're all nice and thick. They all come with the four holes on the corner for your nails or screws, however you want to put it in. There's those. I got this for the house or the camper, whichever, but it was 18 cents. It's a cutting board. I can't remember if I have one in the camper. But anyway, very thin bendable but 
anything is better than just cutting on your counter. So, and normally what I do in here in the house, I grab one of our plates that we eat off of and that's where I'll cut, you know, some of my food, veggies, taters, whatever. But I got this pretty green. I think it had white, pink, blue. There's all kinds of colors, but I like that color. And 18 cents, you know, couldn't really lose there. Got that feel to it. I feel like I'm shorting you guys if I don't open stuff all the way and take it out. Yeah, it just feels like your normal plastic. And it's got, I don't know if the light's gonna let me quite show you, but it's got these little bumps in it. Just gives it that, that feel right there. So, yeah, you can't really see it, but you can carry it like that. So that's nice, I like that. Two things, two things, and I have this barely under an hour. Another thing I like, just add it to my list of things that I have a problem with. I love phone cases. So I got this one here. It is just a plastic and it's clear. It comes, they all come with the phone protectors inside. Oh, and a piece of paper, but here I'll leave it in so you can see the picture better. And it just says mom life. I actually have a shirt and I think I might've wore it in my last haul where it's like that, it's pink and black. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So cute with the sunflowers, so summery. So I got that and I paid $1.58. Cannot beat Timu prices on anything, I'm telling you. Find that on Amazon, I guarantee it'll be $5 or higher. I guarantee. My last thing, I've already bought one, but I'm either gonna give this to my mom or the kids, and I, I don't know. Michelle cooks a lot, my son's girlfriend. Um, so I'm almost thinking more of giving this to her, and I have one, and I love mine. I might have paid 18 cents, I thought I paid six cents, but it's been in a haul a long time ago. But it's just one of those onion cutters, but I paid 18 cents, it's cute, has the little heart, little handle, but it's got this little sheath there to protect it. You take that out and it is very sharp. Very sharp, okay? Very pokey. But you'll stick this down in your onion and you just take your knife and you go through each individual one like that and just cut it. Then when you got it all cut, you can turn it around and just kind of slice it all the way around. But it's kind of a nice little gadget to have. Um, yeah. And just put it right back, wash it, put it right back in there, and you got that nice little protector. But I think that heart's cute on it. So, 18 cents for everything. For everything. Don't I wish? I mean, gosh, Timu's got good prices, but not that good of prices, right? Okay. Whew. 18 cents for that. Um, I don't know. This was 30 some items. I'm not even sure what I have here. Maybe that'll end up being my haul title. I don't know. Um, but. I'm very happy with everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Still enjoy the comments um, when I clean up my mess because when you have a big haul, I've said before, the mess is real. It's it's everywhere, it's on my table. It takes a little bit to clean it all up and then put everything where you want it to go. But um, yeah, like, share, subscribe if you liked it. Um, feel free to comment. And yeah, if I've said before, if I don't comment or like or heart it, there's sometimes there's a lot of them. I go through them and I think I'm hitting them all and read them because I always try to comment or heart something. You know, I don't want to leave it non-commented on, whether it's with a click of an emoji or something. Um, it's just because I didn't see it. I promise I don't ignore anybody's. Um, sometimes if I don't even like what they say, I'll, I'll still give them a check mark just to let them know that I knew they made a comment, you know, and I don't know. So, all right, everybody have a great evening. Tomorrow is Friday. The weekend is almost here already. Um, we're down to five days. Next Thursday is our last day at school. So yeah, totally pumped. Still waiting on our camper to get back so we can go camping. But anywho, I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a blessed evening and a great weekend. I probably won't have this up until tomorrow, Friday, but yeah, till next time. Okay. See you guys later. Bye.